Hey you guys, I doing? It's Kiptek here, bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday! And today, I want to go over the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificate for Coursera. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So today, I want to go over the Coursera uh, certificate, and I'm gonna share my screen and go over it real quick. I actually just took it, and I actually got certified in Coursera. I like knocked that out like in. Less than less than, than three weeks, like literally two weeks, I spend time to actually do it. And I'm going to give you my feedback on it. What did I think? I'm going to share my screen real quick just to show you what they actually go over, like the objectives and everything. Uh, and then my final thoughts on the certification and whether you should take it or not. And how. And I'm going to compare it to the Google one, if that makes sense, the Google cybersecurity one. Because uh, I, mean, I got questions asked, like when I made a post on LinkedIn that I got the certification, I got asked by a lot of people, oh, what's the difference between that and the Google one? So uh, let me share my screen and just show you what they cover. All right. So here we go. Screen one. So, yeah. So basically, this is the Microsoft Certificate uh, Analyst Professional Certificate So by Microsoft. And if you look at the courses here, like these are the different sections of the courses. This is Introduction to Operating Systems. Because like, like sometimes people are like, oh, what's a... What's networking? What's an operating system? What's hardware? What's software? Basic cybersecurity stuff. So course one covers all that stuff. And then if we go and jump over to course two, this is, this is a total of nine courses, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. Introduction to networking cloud computing. So virtual machines, cloud services, how to set up common network infrastructure, monitoring, how to use network security co uh, components. This is skills you gain. And then this is course three, which is a understanding of involving cybersecurity threats. So talk about malware, um, different types of vulnerabilities, viruses, worms, trojans, et cetera, et cetera. Um, defense models, different types of applications, how how to use MFA multi-factor authentication, why, why MFA is important, why uh, securing your stuff with um, two-factor authentication is important, Security, why why we why we we have long passwords, et cetera, et cetera. And then this one is exploring the foundation knowledge of operating systems, networking, and cybersecurity threats. And this is using the cybersecurity identity access solutions in Microsoft or Azure AD, if that makes sense. Which is kind of cool. I like the, the my favorite one to tell you what my favorite one is is probably this one because it covers Defender. And I use Defender in my job right now. So I appreciate course five because it covers the fender. And then there's another section here that covers set no as well. So, uh, and it's very hands-on. Like you, you have like a, uh, an actual lab and it shows you like, how do you, how do you create an account for free using Microsoft? And then it shows you like, once you create the account and everything, it shows you how do you actually do the lab. So then you can actually practice the Microsoft, Microsoft, um, Defender, you could practice that. You could practice uh, resource groups. And then you could practice um, creating um, different things in Azure, in the Azure portal. And it goes over Sedno, and they go over Defender. And over the def when it's Defender, it goes over the CVEs. Um, in Defender, it also goes over your security posture, your security score. And that stuff is pretty cool. And then here is course six how to work with tools associated with security testing. So this one is really go cool. It actually cover, they actually do cover pen testing in this in this actual course, which is kind of cool. Pen testing, if you're trying to do some sort of pen testing in the cloud. And then this other one is management and compliance. So there is a, there is a, um, in this specific, not module, but the modules before that, they actually do cover my, the MITRE framework. Uh, it also covered the, not only the the MITRE the MITRE framework, it also covers um, the triad, the cybersecurity triad, and also covers um, what else does it cover? Some security plus here and there, like some security plus concepts here and there. If you take security plus, like some of that stuff you understand here in, in the actual course. And then here is the advanced cybersecurity concepts capstone project and risk of threats for organizations or systems. How to develop strategies to protect data and applications from authorized access. And then the last one actually prepares you for the SC900 exam, which is the entry level cybersecurity um, course, uh, not cybersecurity course, cybersecurity exam that you take. 
to get certified for the SC900 and then you get uh you get 50 you get 50 percent off so you get 50 percent off once you once you do all the all the courses you get like a like a actual coupon code or you could apply when you go online and, and go to person person view and actually apply for the exam or not apply but actually schedule the exam and yeah and that's it so i'm gonna stop sharing for a second or yeah that's it so like the difference between this one because people are gonna ask me oh what's there between this and the google one the google one covers python um some bash here and there a little bit of scripting this does cover PowerShell, by the way. It does cover, I, I had to do PowerShell in, in the actual module. There's some sections here that's cover Power, PowerShell. But the difference between that one, the Google one, right, and this one is that this one covers mostly Microsoft-related products and Microsoft stuff on Azure and Cloud. The Google one does not cover that. Google is like more like, like fundamentals, like basically fundamentals of foundational information you need to know about cybersecurity. This is more like Microsoft Azure related. So it's more in depth with Microsoft Azure products, like Sentinel, Defender, resource groups, going into the marketplace, uh, setting up your setting up your Microsoft Azure for certain services that are there. So it's all specific to Microsoft stuff. The Google one is more like generic like around foundational information for cybersecurity. That one's more tailored to Security Plus. This one's more tailored to SC900 and actually trying to pass the SC900 exam. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, and then my final thoughts for this, like what do I think? Do I recommend this for someone that is trying to, I guess, go into a job that covers Microsoft products or does Microsoft specific things? Yes. So like if you're if you're in a job that use the Sano and Defender, I definitely recommend the certific this the certification this course because it gives you well round knowledge of Defender and Sano. It tells you what the different buttons do. Like for example, like I I, I use Sano and Defender in my jobs every, every single day, and one of the cool functionalities that I tested because I wanted to test it for fun was um using Microsoft Defender and then using the button called Isolate. So Isolate allows you to take take the computer off the network. And I tested it for Windows and Mac, and it does work for Windows and Mac. So if your computer has Defender installed in that specific machine, you could isolate it and put it off the network, and then you could run remediation stuff on it. So like if a computer has malware, has viruses, has something on it, you actually could put that off the network and then take care of that problem on that computer. Sometimes we we take the computer off the Wi-Fi, off the internet. You don't got to do it from from your physical machine, you could do it from the defender side of things, which is kind of cool. So I didn't, and I didn't know you could, I, but I knew you could do that, but before I didn't know that we're going to, they were going to go over that, which is cool. And it went over a couple other things, other couple other things you could do with the Microsoft tool. So like I said, if you're going to take the exam or if you're in a job that uses Microsoft product and Microsoft cloud services, they do go over Microsoft intro as well. And a few other things. I definitely recommend this course to someone and definitely recommend that your job pays for it if they could pay for it all right that's my final thoughts i really enjoy this course and i appreciate my my job for letting me take it and uh yeah that's it for me that's all i got for you guys for today with that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful saturday take care peace bye